That's why we must partner with God. There are things. There are things that are, will not come by prayer. They will come by that move. Because when I see this move, I see solutions. So that means if we miss the move, there are things we will suffer. Not because God wanted, but because we missed that move. There are things that are coming with that move. The wealth of this land, the sanity of this land. This is what I keep on hearing. And this word has been very loud in my spirit. Kenya has the potential to become a first world country in less than a generation but tied to the move that you reach a place i was with a woman of god from nigeria and she said there was a move like that that began in nigeria that when a policeman asked for bribe people will cut that money and put it in his mouth and tell him to chill. Corruption was dying in Nigeria. Then the government was overthrown. A demonic power. And they were saying things that Nigerians never thought would have happened began to happen. Are we not seeing such things? Church, talk to me. Are we not seeing such things? Things we never thought that a member of parliament will come and say, don't add our salaries. Don't, don't. Don't ignore them. The anarchy side is different. But, but there is a wave that is healing the land. We can become a first world nation in less than a generation. Guess what happens when moves of God come? It's like waves. They deposit weeds on the seashore and they clean the sea. That's why there must be a force to provoke the waves and anything that defiles the sea is carried to the seashore. That is the move we are waiting for. Kabo Zadabaha. Rato Bali Abada. The church lost power. We can't even talk. We can't talk. Because part of what we are doing is the corruption money. So we can't rebuke them that are taking alcohol. Because our mouth is also speaking of alcohol. But allow me to tell you, the authority of the church is coming back. These are coming where Nathan can meet David and tell him, listen, there is an error on the throne says the Lord. Not because we don't love the government. Because we love the government so much to see the judgment of God fall on it. The watchman spirit is going to come. That there will be real gutters. You stand at the gates of Limuru and you say, Lord, anything that is entering the city, anything coming from Nakuru, drugs, Whatever is not of you cannot pass by the gates. We are the gatekeepers and the watchers. We begin to man the city. Upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. May the Lord restore the authority of the church. We cannot be the mockery in our generation. We cannot be the ones trending in our generation. May the Lord restore. Wingula Koli Meshia Tandam Langoni Mwaye Mayet Tnashio Subi Wewe Useme Uwange Na we will not miss our visitation. Wingola Koli Meshata Dami Langoni Mwa Hema Yetu Lift up your hands and pray the 
calling let me let me open your eyes spiritually you study the patterns of the land you'll begin to know there are no coincidences in the spirit in 1992 there was a whole conversation of section 2 that generation fought that battle every generation has their contribution in the current government are you getting me every generation they have their contribution in their government the president received wisdom he announced and he said section 2a is nullified and multi-partism entered i met a man in that generation he told me i was chased from town to dandora i didn't know what section 2a is but i knew we needed to change section 2a he said whatever gen z's are doing we did it in our day and we were fought we were beaten but the president received wisdom and managed the nation but what you need to understand there is something we call the cycle of seven in kenya i'm sharing this in public so that whatever we are seeing we don't just assume it the cycle of seven in 1997 Kenya entered into a bloodbath. There was post-election violence. In 2007 is the historical post-election. When you remember 2017, we voted twice. There was so much tension. The, the opposition literally refused to participate. Nobody knew what was happening. The handshake cooled the nation. I remember 2017, men were saying, give us guns. There was another map produced that Kenya is divided. Meaning that there are altars that demand blood in every cycle of seven. This time we are, end, we are going towards a 2027. But we can see the agitation at this hour. You cannot be blind if this thing is sustained. We don't have a nation. We don't have a nation. And the first thing, it is our error. We need to rebaptize Kenya from a hustler nation. Whatever we called it, it has become. We need to recall it. There is a pattern I'm building. Do you think someone woke up and called the president Zakayo? Do you know Zakayo was a Russia's man? But he was in the wrong trade. That's why he said, if I have stolen, I will return four times. The battle of the king of the land will be assumption he's not working. No matter what he does, there is already a brand. We need to pray for the king. No, we don't have a perfect king. But the throne cannot be empty. We can't be fooled. Hallelujah. When I heard people say Zakayo, Zakayo, I, I called one of the fathers and told him, the man will face the battle of negative, what do I call it? There's a word. No matter what he does, there will be a brand that he does not deliver. Names are not just picked. Some of the things happening and trending, they have a source and we don't know. It's about, he will be accused. That's what I was looking for. False accusations. Am I saying the government is perfect? Please don't get me wrong. Is the government working? I'm not in government. But I can pick a few intelligence and know. If you're given a nation that has a budget of 7 trillion in loans... And you have to bring balance post-COVID. The economy is not okay. And then the prophecy was pray for sabotage when they got in power. Then the people who come to surround you, all of them are flaunting stuff. Then they cement the perception. And now a generation is rising. Because now the conversation was rich versus poor. A helicopter cannot land in Naivasha because the rich are stealing from us. So we are creating a Robin Hood mentality. Is that the nation want to leave to our children? There has to be a dollar to ourselves. 
Do we have a problem in Kenya? Yes. Let the technocrats fix. Let the church do their part. Let them that God is going to raise as an oversight. Let them be raised. But Kenya will not die out of anarchy. Whatever is rising is beyond Mandamano is now anarchy. So there are three things we have to pray for this government. One, internal sabotage. The war is not outside. It is brothers fighting each other inside. And the king needs wisdom because it's not an easy time. If you are given that throne, you might die tomorrow. <laughs> it's not easy. We must pray. And I'm saying this against perceptions on the throne. I remember when I was working, I suffered that. There's a time I will deliver targets and people say, no, 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 you are helped. This is not you. And I will feel bad because there is a brand that you can be given that is not yours. There is also a spirit of rebelliousness. No matter how much I disagree with you, I still need to respect that you hold a certain position. I had someone having just a conversation and calling the president by his name. Saying, Yani, uh, you know, uh, root or ewe. I said, you know, listen, listen, listen. I even if you don't like the man, respect the office. Do you know why I'm saying this? The seed we sow now will reap later. I met a man and he told me, from the time I began designing of pamphlets, I've not done a pamphlet of a 70-year-old obituary. He said majority are between 20 to 40. And he said, do you know what is happening? The culture of dishonor has arrested Kenya. The Bible says, honor your father and mother. Because there will be longevity. Whatever guarantees longevity of life. An assurance is honor. The devil wants to take away that. So we are having many teens mothers. Who are left by their boyfriends. And now they are depressed. Because they don't have a job. And then I, I began to see. What, what is happening. Is like what people are calling the titanic philosophy. Tuzame wate. That's the titanic philosophy. That's not how you fix a nation. We have a nation to build. The move of God must move. Father, just hold hands. You just need to make a prayer. We are the church of Jesus. We are the, this is the generation. 